All right, so which is Mark is back. The baby is with the daddy. And we are back on rehearsal. My heart is tight, but I'm super happy to be ready to jam. Have a baby. Yes, we are. This was an amazing experience. Welcome to Rocking the Baby and we are on week eight now, seven going to eight. So next week she's gonna be two months and this week I attempted to go to work for the first time. So last Sunday I attempted to have a show and it was only a two hour and a half show but it was a little far from the house so it was uh, I was out of the house about four hours and it didn't go so well I dropped her off at my parents and my husband was there so there was a lot of support system and but she did good at the beginning I breastfed her before I went to the show and left bottles with breast milk and I put her to a little nap but by the time she woke up it was already the witching hours, which we're gonna talk about this. I keep on talking about this, but yes, from around 7 p.m. to around 11 p.m., babies get really fussy, and she is one of them. She gets really fussy. She just fights sleep, and uh, it's she's not hungry, she's not dirty. I already changed the diaper, we give her a bath, and we do all this routine for bedtime and she's just get fussy and you just have to be patient and hold her and love her and calm her until she finally falls asleep around 11 o'clock so that was the whole problem because normally as a singer i work around this time and that's where i when i perform around this time and this is when she needs me the most and she wants the boob, not only for food, but also for comfort. So what happened last Sunday is that uh, when she woke up from her nap, it was around this time, and then she didn't want to take any bottle, and she was hungry, and she just wanted the boob, and she wanted the mommy, and it was the first time that mommy wasn't around. So i in my break in between sets i went to the restroom very fast and i did a little facetiming with my husband and found out that she was not happy and looking for mommy and looking for the boob and not taking the bottle and that gave me horrible anxiety i finished my second set and i left a little bit earlier and i was flying down 95 trying to just get to this baby and you will see a little bit of this and then yesterday I had rehearsal with my band we are getting back so this was our first rehearsal my first rehearsal back they've been rehearsing without me and we have a couple shows coming up my band which is mark it's a heavy metal band and I escaped from the house for about an hour they're right down the road the, the studio where we rehearse it's not that far so it was during the witching hours again my husband was alone in the house so it was the first time that daddy mac stayed with the baby for more than an hour alone and it was about two hours because i stayed there for a little over an hour and it takes about 20 25 minutes to just get there so uh I was really concerned, I was worried, I called him, but apparently he did incredible. He managed to give the baby a bath, uh, cook dinner, and by the time I got home, she was calm. But then by the time I got home, it was already 10 p.m. And until she winded down for bedtime, it ended up being a little late because the witching hours extended and she just went to bed around 12 30 p.m like midnight 32 it take that long it takes that long for her to calm down and go to sleep at night it's it's tough and then she slept for about three hours and a half 
which is great. She always does this for the first run and then she just woke up every 30 minutes to feed. That's what she does during the day. So during the day, it's every 30 minutes. She's starting a little nap right now and in 30 minutes, it will be done. And then at night, the first time, as soon as she goes to bed, normally it's three hours. I got before about four hours and a half. There was one time and it was, oh, is this happening? And then the next day it was just two hours. So it's an average of three hours. And then after that, the struggle begins again. So let's watch a little bit of how I handle the rehearsals and the show and Stay tuned because we're going to talk about the witching hours on our next episode. And if you are a mom of a seven to eight week old newborn and you are returning to work, let's talk about our anxieties and our expectations and our hopes and our fears. Uh, subscribe to the channel, comment down, down comment around the comments area and let's talk. Thanks for watching. first show today and uh, Lua is a little short of seven weeks old and uh, I was hoping to be able to record uh, on my way to the gig and everything we drop her off at my parents Mac is there my husband is there with my mom taking care of her but it is so hard to just get ready when you have a newborn baby and you're a first time mom that I didn't have any chance to just record anything before and uh, we just got out of the house. It was hard to just find an outfit that would fit me that also I could be able to just like take my boob out and breastfeed her and easily and so it was hectic but i finally dropped her off at my parents and went to my show which wasn't so far away from my parents house that's why we dropped her off there and my husband stayed there and uh, i was like heartbroken to to leave the house but you know, I breastfed her before I left and I left bottles with milk, my milk there and instructions and everything. But I went there to the show and she fell asleep, took a little min a little 30 minute nap. And then apparently she woke up and it was time for feeding, of course and she did not want to take the bottle. She was looking for the boob. Uh, we call it birding because she looks like a little bird when the bird, the baby bird is hungry like this with the mouth open looking for the boob. And she's been birding the whole time looking for the boob, crying hysterically. And uh, I took a break in my gig and I went and I FaceTime with my husband and saw her and oh my god my heart is like ripping apart so i actually was able to uh, leave the gig my show about 30 minutes earlier and the band continued to play without me <laughs> and i just i just left and i'm flying home now for my little baby and guys if you're a mother and you had to come back to work you know exactly what i'm talking about uh it's she's only seven weeks and i feel so guilty that i took a show <laughs> that i booked a show 
this early and I have three shows next week Friday Saturday and Sunday I don't know I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it I think I'm going to have to cancel and put some other singer on my place they're not gonna like it but what am I gonna do I I don't know I think it's too early and it's not that I don't trust my parents I trust everybody and I trust my husband to be with her but she still she still needs me and I need her too so let's see I let's see how the week is gonna go and I'm like two minutes from the house and I'm trying not to speed I'm trying to keep it calm I'm trying to drive safely I'm really tired I just want to be there already oh my god all right I'll keep you guys updated first gig didn't go so well poor little Lua misses the mommy but mommy's almost there baby boy baby baby mommy's almost there <laughs> okay thank you guys for watching let's cannot wait to rock the baby when I get home rocking the baby so I made it home and she is she was desperate she's now feeding I don't want to show the boob much but she's now eating and just relaxing finally but it's so heartbreaking to be away from them especially when they're so tiny and they're just wanting mommy so finally we are reunited <laughs> and this was an experience I'm gonna have to see what's gonna happen next week but my heart tells me not ready yet we are both not ready yet to be far away from each other let's see let's see baby is with the daddy and we are back on rehearsal my heart is tight but I'm super happy to be ready to jam and we have a new drummer in the house what is your uh, band which is Mark band name you gotta have a band name we'll have to think of that you're gonna one. have to think of a band name you need to have a band name and we have to put which is Mark on there too sometimes yeah. some for now this is just a video for the drummer coming soon ready which is mark back <laughs> the chase witches bitches that witches let's do it yeah. This was an amazing 